In this video, I'm going to show you seven fully funded scholarships to help you study in German for free. These scholarships are going to cover your monthly stipend, your health insurance, as well as your tuition fees if required. Let's jump into the video right now. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. This is Dambi Lola. ODS again. I'm so happy to have you join me today and thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Thank you so much for your support by watching our videos, by liking our videos and sharing with friends. And if you're new on the channel, on this channel we talk about topics relating to fully funded scholarship, personal development and a time to talk about personal finances. Please do not forget to like this video and as well subscribe to the channel. So today I'm going to be talking about seven fully funded scholarships to study in Germany for free. Like scholarships that are absolutely free for you to study in Germany as an international student. Before I go ahead to start talking about the scholarship, please, I want you to note that tuition is absolutely free in some German universities. So the scholarships I'm going to be talking about will cover your living allowance, your medical insurance, and some of them will cover your tuition if tuition is required in your university. So let's get straight to business. The first scholarship to study in German as an international student at the master's level is the development related postgraduate courses scholarship. So let's look more into this scholarship. What does the scholarship cover? What does it entail and its duration? Let's get straight into my laptop to find out more about the scholarship. I need to mention what exactly does this scholarship cover? This scholarship covers um, your monthly stipend of around 861 euros if you are studying at the master's level and 1200 euros for doctoral students and it also covers your medical insurances it covers your travel allowance and also you could argue that you would want to get um, monthly rent subsidy if you're living in top cities that are very expensive in germany as well as monthly allowances for accompanying members of your family please i need to state this that for this scholarship there are a number of eligible countries for this scholarship, majorly developing countries around the world. So you need to be, you need to make sure that your country is eligible for the scholarship before you go ahead to um, submit the application. Um, luckily, Nigeria is among one of the eligible countries. This is Nigeria, somewhere around here. Ghana is eligible. So basically, from what I can see on this list, almost all. Um, all developing countries around the world are eligible for the scholarship and I also need to mention that for this scholarship there are eligible programs for the scholarship so it means that not all programs across German universities are eligible for this program so the first thing you need to do is you need to come to this list I'm gonna drop link to this place that and to check whether your program is eligible Definitely, you'll find something that is related to your program. If you can't find something related to your program specifically, you can always find something that is related to your program. So just come here, check um, the eligible programs. They have programs in media studies, they have programs in agriculture, they have programs in natural and environmental sciences. So there are lots of programs. So, And you also need to make sure that you do not apply for more than three programs if you're applying for this scholarship. And the deadline dates for all of these programs differ. So there is no unified um, deadline to apply for this scholarship. But I think most of the scholarships, most of this program are now open for application against the 2022, um, 2022 stroke 2023 application round of application. So you need to quickly jump into this and apply if you're interested. Second so scholarship at the master's level to study in Germany is the Public Policy and Good Governance Scholarship, which is popularly known as PPGG Scholarship. What exactly is this scholarship all about? This scholarship is for students who are interested in master's program around public policy, governance and international development. So what exactly does this scholarship cover? Okay, um, this is the home page of the PPGG Scholarship. Um, I beg your pardon, I'm, I may not be able to pronounce this, um, the real German name because I'm not German, I'm Nigerian, so it might be a bit difficult for me to pronounce them. But in English, this scholarship is popularly known as the PPGG Scholarship, Public Policy and Good Governance. So this scholarship is aimed at supporting future leaders from developing countries to come and study in Germany, study governance and international development related programs in Germany. And um, I need to mention that the unique objective of this program is to train future leaders 
um, is to train you to become a future leader in your own country. So when you're applying for this program, it is very important that you position yourself as someone who is very interested in leadership and things relating to um, international development. So let's get straight into some more details about this program. And um, I need to mention that what does this program cover? This co uh, program covers a monthly stipend of 850 euros at the master's level. And um, it covers your health insurance, it covers your tuition as well, it covers your travel allowance. And another thing is you could also get a uh, rent subsidy. And on a, one something very important to mention is this program also involves six months German course. So if the program you're going to be taking is specifically in German, you would have to take a six months course, which is going to be paid for by the program. And another thing I need to mention is there is also a list of eligible programs for this scholarship. So not all programs across German universities are eligible for them. And each of these programs, they all have their unique deadlines. Some of the deadlines might have closed for 2021 stroke 2022 admission. So if you're preparing towards um, the following year, you need to keep tabs on their own page. So this is some of the programs that are eligible for them. I think it's six of them. Okay, um, it's eight programs across German University. This one is Master of Public, Sci Public Management, um, Development Studies, um, Peace and Conflict Studies, um, Willy Brandt um, School of Public Policy at the University of Erfurt. So what exactly you should do is get into the home page, check the specific programs, eight of them or eight of them, check the specific requirements of each of them because each of these programs have unique requirements and different application process. So that's what you should do. Having said that, the third scholarship on my list is the Catholic Academic Exchange Service Scholarship. This scholarship is very unique and most especially this scholarship is targeted at people who are of Catholic denomination. So if you're someone who is a Catholic, this scholarship would be appropriate for you. So let's get straight into talking a little bit about this scholarship. The um, card, let me just call it card, is sponsored by the Catholic Church in Germany and therefore applicants are expected to be of Catholic denomination. And what does this scholarship, what does it, um, what program does it cover? It covers, especially if you want to go for the master's level, doctoral level, and even postdoctoral um, level. And the scholarship is targeted at applicants from Africa, Asia, Latin America, and um, Middle East. So let's check um, precisely uh, countries that it, um, that are sponsored in Africa. Okay, um, basically, you would have to get on this page um, if you're somewhere from Africa, check the um, specific countries that are sponsored in Africa and um, countries like from here, I can see that countries like Ethiopia, Ghana, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Uganda, and the Tanzania are part of countries that are um, supported in Africa. But plus and minus, I would still advise you to go through this page to check specifically in detail the requirements for this scholarship, especially if you're a Catholic. Uh, but if you're not a Catholic, I would advise that you shouldn't apply for the scholarship. So what are the application requirements for this scholarship? Firstly, you need to be a national and um, currently residing in Africa, Asia, Middle East, or Latin America. And you need to have at least a bachelor's degree and have some years of work experience in your own country. And also they mentioned here that you have to be of Catholic faith because the scholarship is sponsored by the Catholic um, Church and have knowledge of German language um, before the start of your program in Germany. And they said the body is willing to sponsor you for up to six months in German course. So if your program is in German and you have to learn German language, then this um, scholarship would sponsor you to learn German for at least six months and you have to also um, to be selected you need to demonstrate excellent academic achievements and good knowledge of research so what exactly does this scholarship what does it cover this scholarship covers is largely fully funded and it's going to cover most expenses like your tuition if you're studying in a tuition based um, university in Germany so it's going to cover your tuition and as well as your living allowances.
So by the way, if you find this video really interesting, kindly like this video so as to help increase the reach of this video because the more you like our videos and the more you drop comments on this channel, the wider the videos would reach a lot of people. So having said that, let's move straight into the fourth scholarship to study in Germany on a fully funded expense at the master's level. The fourth scholarship is the Friedrich Herbert Foundation Scholarship for international students. So let's look more into details about this scholarship. Okay, very quick one. A little bit of details about the scholarship, the Friedrich Herbert Foundation Scholarship for International Students. This scholarship is basically targeted at students from Africa, Asia, Latin America, and Eastern Europe. So if you are from any of those um any of the country in those regions, you might be interested to um, apply for this scholarship. And what exactly does this scholarship, what is the objective? I said it's targeted at eligible students in subject areas, students that have demonstrated excellent school or merit award and wish to study in Germany. So I often advise a lot of applicants that when um, applying for scholarship, it is very necessary that they read in detail about the scholarship objective, the scholarship description. So you need to understand what exactly is the objective of the scholarship before you go ahead to apply. Why is this important? So as to tailor your application to suit the objectives of that scholarship. So let's look at um, the admission requirements. Before you can apply for this scholarship, they said you need admission to have stu to study or enroll at a German institution, especially at the master's level. And you also need sufficient knowledge of German, although the courses are held in English. So you need to be able to speak a little bit of German before you can go ahead to apply for this scholarship. By the way, don't get scared. If you're eligible, you could learn how to speak German by registering on some of these um, free language learning apps like Duolingo and the likes. And let's go straight into talking about the scholarship value. What exactly would you get a benefit? You say you're going to receive a, a monthly tuition, a monthly... Um, monthly stipend of around 830 euros as an international student and also your it's going to cover for your cost of health insurance and as well as if you have a child who is going to be coming with you to Germany and you're going to receive a family allowance of around 8276 euros so let's um, move a little bit and talk about how to apply the application stages, the application for this scholarship is in four stages. Don't worry, I'm going to drop all of this link in the channel in the... Don't worry, I'm going to drop all of these uh, links in the video description so I can get more details about how to apply on your own while doing your research. So the application is broken down into four stages, which you would have to go through. And there are different deadlines. Even though here it is mentioned that for you to apply for the scholarship, you could submit at any time in the year but i need to mention very clearly that there are some period that it is better for you to submit the application because it's mentioned here that basic funding for foreigners at the master's student you have to submit if you're applying for winter semester which is submit at least november 30th and if you are applying for um, summer semester you should submit at least may 31st so you need to take note of these deadlines when you are applying for this scholarship. So let's quickly talk about the fifth scholarship to study in Germany. And the fifth scholarship is study scholarships for postgraduate studies in the fields of fine art, design, visual communication, and film. So if you're submitting, if you're applying for a master's program in any of these fields in a German university, then I would advise that you apply for this scholarship because scholarship is specifically targeted at any of these fields that have been mentioned. Okay, what does the scholarship, what does it um, cover? It covers your living allowance and your travel allowance, study allowance, health insurance, monthly rent subsidy, monthly allowance for accompanying family members. And we should take note that this scholarship is basically targeted at people who are going to be studying in tuition-free universities. So if you're studying in a tuition-free university, because a lot of German universities are tuition-free, so you could definitely apply for this um, scholarship. Let's get some more information about it. What are the requirements? 
um, final examination that says you should have graduated at least um, within six years before the application deadline. And um, I think the, this scholarship, the deadline has passed. Um, I think I saw it somewhere, but let me confirm. Let's confirm. Let's keep going. Okay, application requirements. Um, if you should have been a resident, um, people who have resided in um, Germany cannot apply for it. Okay, but basically, if you're going to be applying for this scholarship, I, I think you should take your time to read through the requirements um, if you're going to be applying. So let's quickly move forward to the sixth scholarship, which is the Friedrich Newman Foundation Scholarship for International Students. Please take note that this scholarship is different from the other um, Friedrich scholarship which we talked about earlier. For this one, this one is also for international students who are going to be pursuing a master's degree in a German university. So what does this scholarship, what does it um, cover? Um, targeted group, young people committed to political ideas of German Liberal Party and willing to take responsibility. Uh, Okay, what does the scholarship include? It covers 861 euros per month and also health insurance and other um, benefits that you could get from this scholarship. And they said applications are only possible here. So this is where you should submit your application. Deadlines for application are 30th April and 31st October of each year. Luckily, so there's two rounds of application for this scholarship and luckily There's another deadline by 31st of October. So if you're interested in this scholarship I would advise that you start your application as soon as possible As soon as possible because 31st of October is just around the corner But if you're unable to meet the 31st of October deadline, um, you could Apply you could um, target the 30th April deadline as well um, application requirements um, you have to be gifted personal requirements which are reliable highly motivated personalities and whatnot but basically generally when you're applying for scholarships you just have to portray yourself as someone who is um, very good when it comes to leadership because most scholarships are generally targeted at world leaders um, so you need to prove all of those things in your personal statements and letter of motivation so let's move straight to the seventh which is the last scholarship i'll be talking about today it is the hatsi school future of europe scholarship when i was reading about this scholarship i discovered that this scholarship is basically for tuition only this one covers only tuition and um, applicants from all over the world are eligible to apply and it is for only those who are interested in masters of public policy or masters of international affairs which is taught in english so if you're interested in any of those masters program at the artsy school in germany then you should definitely consider applying for this scholarship because um, programs at this particular school artsy school um artsy school are largely you have to pay for your tuition so you could consider applying for that scholarship and i hope um okay tuition at this artist school is around thirty four thousand five hundred euros that's a whole lot so it's very good that the scholarship will be covering for your tuition so you have to um, worry about your living allowances your health insurance yourself and they said that interested applicants should submit their applications and motivation statements before 1st April 2021 so 2021 the deadline is gone so you could um, actually start preparing towards 2022 so this is where we're going to be wrapping up for today um, thank you for watching this video please like this video and also share with your friends so as to spread the good news about scholarship across to everyone i really appreciate you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed i would love to see you in the next video don't forget to stick around watch some of our videos and bye for now catch you